Hey family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Carenza Amanda. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are brand new to my channel, I love to do videos on all things lifestyle and personal finance. My favorite videos are cash stuffings. I love, love, love to save money as well as doing tracking my expenses videos to see how much I'm spending and also budget with me's and lifestyle content. So if those are topics that are interesting to you and you would love to engage with me, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. So today I'm going to be doing my savings challenges update. I want to share with you where I am as of right now. So let's get into it. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your day or your evening. So I am doing the $1 savings challenge and the $5 savings challenge, as well as a rollover challenge and Arison's Love $1,200 challenge for the year, as well as Pink's Budget's $4,000 challenge, and that is her Platinum Scratch Off Challenge. And last but not least, I am doing the 100 envelope challenge where it is labeled 1 through 100 for the envelopes and you save a total of $5,050. So let's get into this counting. So, so far for my ones, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 dollars. So I have a total of 31 dollars saved for my one dollar savings challenge. I think that is good considering we are just in the month of January and this is from rollover money from my variable expenses budget. So next I'm going to move on to counting my five dollar savings challenge. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 dollars in my five dollar savings challenge. I think the one dollar savings challenge and the five dollar savings challenges are great fun challenges to do, especially if you are just starting out in your savings challenges journey. I think it is a very simple way to save money without really having to think too hard about how you're gonna do it. So next I'm gonna move on to counting my rollover and I have $10, $20 in rollover. So I plan to actually put this in a savings challenge. I just don't know what, so I'm kind of like making rollover its own savings challenge for now. And so I like really figure out like what is it that I wanna do with that money. So next, I'm going to be counting my Aerosons Love Challenge, and that is the $1,200 for the year, and that is where you save $100 a month. So, so far, I have $20, $40, $60, $80, $100. $100. So I am done for the month of January with that challenge. I met my goal. Next is the Pink's Budget Platinum Challenge, and this is the one I was telling you guys about where you save $4,000 for the year and you scratch off each gem. And for each gem that you scratch, the amount of money appears and then you save that amount of money. So, so far I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, $170 is in Pink's Budget Challenge. And I think it is just a really fun way as well to save money. If you guys want, I can link it down below. Um, actually, I will link it down below. Why not? So next, I'm going to move on to showing you guys my 100 envelope challenge. So this is my 100 envelope challenge box that I made from an old Chloe perfume box that I had. And these envelopes represent all of the funds that are saved and then these envelopes are the envelopes that I need to stuff and then I will be done with the challenge. 
once I am done with this challenge, I will have saved $5,050. So I will be cash stuffing numbers 98 and 99 in my next savings challenge video. And then these are also the remaining envelopes that are left. So I want to tell you guys where I am with that. I'm really excited because I will be doing a cash envelope unstuffing of just my 100 envelope challenge when I am done. So I have this lovely sheet that I've been utilizing to keep track of my stuffing for this challenge. So for every time I stuff the number that is on the envelope, it tells you exactly how much money you have saved if you were to go in order. So I have saved numbers one through 75, and that is $2,850. So I'm gonna add that to my total amount. And then I also stuffed number 80 and number 100. So I'm also gonna add that to the amounts. So, so far I have saved a total of $3,416 between all of my savings challenges. I think that is great considering that I started the 100 envelope challenge back in August. I've really been taking my time. I haven't really been rushing. I've more so been prioritizing what's important to me. And for me right now, that is paying down my debt, of course, as well as having my $1,000 starter emergency fund in place. And also, of course, saving my money in general being more mindful of how I'm spending my money, tracking my expenses. Because once you do all those things, once you figure out where your money is going, it gives you the opportunity to say, what is it that I can change to keep more of my money working for me? So I feel like if you can spend your money, there's no reason why you cannot save your money. There's no reason why you cannot invest your money into things that are important to you and that will work for you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing with your savings challenges. It is still early in the year. If you are interested in starting your own savings challenges, you can do that. You don't need to go crazy with purchasing a whole bunch of stuff. I know it can get crazy. I do the same thing. I've done the same thing. I've bought so many different things, so many different challenges. But if you really just want to start exactly where you are, you can do that. Guys, I really appreciate all of your support. This community is so amazing. Please, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. I would love to have you as a part of the family. Please be safe. Please take care. Until next time. Bye.